Yeah, that's right, Amber. Still an active scene, in fact, here on Worth Street, going on 11 hours after that shooting took place. You can see behind me, DPD still milling around that house. They've been going in and out of this house on the corner, that greenhouse at 1003 Worth Street, all afternoon long. It's been the focal point of this investigation so far. And this double shooting comes just over a week before city primary elections are set to take place here in Durham. And today, locals are telling me they're pointing that date, October 10th, as the first opportunity to create change in the Bull City. This is happening on an everyday basis. It used to be uh, every now and then thing. Today, Durham residents calling for change with city elections just over a week away. It comes after an early morning shooting on Worth Street left one woman dead and sent another to the hospital. Durham native Nikki Kennedy lives nearby. Yeah, because it's sad to see our young people laying on the ground. It's sad to see sheets over their body. It's sad for my baby. You got to turn a hug and make sure they can't see that. Kennedy wants to see those running for city office this cycle spending more time in impacted neighborhoods, saying campaign signs remind her it's election season, but she doesn't feel represented by the candidates. And all you see is these little signs of elective people. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't, even, I don't even know their faces like I used to. I used to can say I know who this person is, this person. This time I'm not as active as I used to be because I don't even know who these new people are. Monday's shooting hitting close to home for Bull City leadership. City Council Member Deidreana Freeman happens to live on the block and says the ordeal is startling. I mean, I know them in passing. They were recently, um, they recently moved in. And so I, I just, I just know that, uh, yeah. Everyone on the block is going to be shaking for a while. Freeman says the victims were new to the neighborhood, but they both live at the house police are searching. I know one of my neighbors, yeah, just sharing them watching them get carried out on a stretcher. It's not something you want to see on a Monday morning. At last check, the victim who survived the shooting remains in the hospital with life-threatening injuries. However, at this hour, Durham police have not released the identities of either victim involved in this shooting, nor with their potential relationship might have been. We'll have more coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. For now, we're live in Durham. Sean Coffey, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.